All right, everybody. Uh, here is my Debo 7E, and um, I'm just gonna review what I did to it, which isn't much. This is a highly configurable and customizable radio. I bought it because uh, I was tired of carrying around the uh, Tyrannus uh, lunchbox, and you know when I hold this thing, this radio feels so much more dense, so much more solid, so much better built and I just like the the size of it and I run the uh, DM9 module in my Tyrannus and I fly mostly um, Spectrum satellites so you know I'm really not using all the features that the Tyrannus has. The Tyrannus is a wonderful radio it, it's a very powerful radio more powerful than this but this is definitely a, a contender when it comes to uh, firmwares that you can put on here with the deviation TX. I've flashed it with a 5.0 and it does everything I want. Uh, I, I'm not even bothering with the adding the three position switches. You have an option to add some switches here but for what I do all I need is to arm my quad and uh, uh, turn on the beeper. So two switches, two position switches, it's all I need. And uh, if you're a guy who likes uh, simple, then maybe this is a good radio for you. So the module comes from Banggood. I'll include the uh, link in the description below. And what's neat about this module is it's got a UFL to SMA or RPSMA, depending upon what cable you buy here. So uh, that is... Uh, um, it's a good thing, so let me explain to you why. I am running a 5 dBi antenna, okay? And for whatever reason, this thing is a pain in the ass to get stateside in SMA. They're all RP SMA, okay? So um, when you buy your UFL connection, if you don't want to uh, wait for your stuff to come from China, just buy a... RP SMA, uh, UFL to RP SMA connector, and then you can buy your um, your antenna, your 5 dBi antenna, and, and you're fine. Unfortunately, I did get an RP SMA antenna thinking it was SMA, so what I did was I took a standard uh, pin header, and I pulled out one of the pins, okay, just like that, and all I did was I shoved it down into the hole, okay, in here okay and then I clipped it and now I pretty much have made my own SMA antenna okay just make sure you clip it to the right length take a look at some other antennas that you've got and uh, make sure you do that and I, I did flow a little bit of solder onto the onto the tip here to make it uh, a tight fit when you when you screw it down but anyway enough of that uh, onto the module. So I didn't have enough colors to assign a unique color to each solder point. So the colors that I had to double up on were green and white. So my green and white here to the far right of the module go down to the board here. Okay. So when you are uh, when you're looking at this, uh, just know that these first two are f for the connections up here. Okay, and the second set of green and white come down here. So just, you know, connect the dots. It's real simple. I've got no idea what all the shit is. I do know that I did not hook up the Wakira uh, chip, which on the module, it's this last pin. It's the 7106 chip. What you have to do is go to this side of the MCU, and you have to solder that. You have to make a connection from here to the second pin up from the bottom if you want to fly the Wakira stuff. I don't fly Wakira, like I said. I do mostly, um, shit, I didn't have that framed up for y'all. All right, there you go. Now you know what I'm talking about down here. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I, I don't fly Wakira and I'm not trying to do that. It, and I, I highly recommend you go to the Deviation TX website. That's where I went to acquire all my information to complete this build. There's a lot of information on there and those guys are uh, hardcore Devo fans and they're very willing to help so um, go ahead check that out sign up with them 
uh, on the form and and uh, be active. So anyway, so yellow to yellow, uh, the red, the power comes to your power down here. Okay, uh, the green goes to this first green here. Uh, the ground goes to the ground at the very end of this uh, module here. And uh, the first white goes to uh, right here in between your green and red. Okay, and then the thick red wire is my power uh, here. Okay, uh, the thin red wire down here goes to the one on the end right next to this ground. Uh, now I do have two grounds going into this spot right here. And then I've got a power off of this little resistor or uh, whatever the hell that is. I used the multimeter to, to find five volts. So the second ground here and that power, that goes to my LED, which is underneath this module. I'm not pulling it up for you. Uh, I've got a picture so you can take a look at the screenshot. Um, that's how I powered my uh, LED and I used a little resistor to uh, extend the life of that LED. It's a little 3 watt LED, 1S LED, very small. And uh, just drill a hole into that that plate. You're going to have to clip the little plastic piece that uh, houses it to get it to fit. You'll figure it out once you get there. If you get this far, you'll see what I'm talking about. So just clip that and uh, then you're good. So the only other thing I want to cover is people were asking me about my uh, my sticks these little things. So uh, these are 3D printed pieces. I got them from a friend of mine and I think they came from PB3D. He does have some on his website but they don't look like this. So I don't know if this is like a, a, a test version or whatever but I really do like them. They've got a uh, finger groove if you look at it from the side. So I'm trying to get into the whole pinch flying thing and this just makes it very ergonomic, very comfortable for me to do. So uh, that's pretty much all I did to the radio. Uh, the little stock rubber ducky thing, all I did was cut it off right where it widens up. And uh, that leaves you with enough meat in there to clamp down with your hardware that comes with the uh, UFL connection. So uh, that's it. And uh, I'm enjoying the radio. And I haven't had any... Uh, issues with this uh, mod yet the antenna you know soldering my little thing in there to make a SMA connection but I will uh, this, you know this is the first day that I've actually uh, had a chance to go outside and fly so I'll probably do some uh, range testing today and see how that works out so uh, that's the radio the Devo 7e and um, go to that website go to the uh, deviation tx uh, start an account with those guys and if you got any questions hit me up good luck